SharePoint is more than just an opportunity for us to store our files in a place that's easily accessible by everybody. We can also create newsletters to send home for our class or for our families. To begin, start by selecting your school. Once you've selected your school, choose SharePoint in the top left hand side. This brings you to an alternate view of SharePoint where you can see all of the sites that you're following. You can create a new post or create a new site. These are all of the sites listed within our district. Today we're going to create a new site. When you choose create a new site, you're given two options. The first is a team site. This would be great to collaborate with your co-teacher or other members of your grade team or a communication site. We're going to start with a communication site to create a classroom newsletter. The first thing we need to add is a site name. So I'm going to call this Mr. W's 2023-24 class. It generates a site address for me, and now I can add a description. A class newsletter for my students. I can select the language that I want it to be in, and then choose finish. Now this generates a new site for me that I can begin to tailor as part of my newsletter. I can see page details and analytics, and I have some tabs at the top to help navigate my page. The first thing that I see is that this template is already listing a lot of things that I would like in my class, such as a news update. When I select a tab, I'm already offered some templates that might help me out. Well, I like this basic one right here. Choose the template that you like and select Create Post. This is a news update that will go on my classroom site. News updates can be shared just like a regular newsletter. So now I have a template that I can edit. I start by selecting the different areas and then I can type whatever I would like into them. So now that I have my first tab, I can go ahead and edit some of the text in here and we'll start with what is this and then I will post all of my writing. So here is where I will put all of my important information. You can see that the SharePoint templates are pretty easy to navigate and when I select on an area it brings up my editing tools. On the left hand side I have different sections that I can add so that I could format things the way I want it such as making something collapsible. If I go to the top and select page details, here I can change things like my background, and now I'm given options like stock images that I can search, pull from my OneDrive, or I can upload. So let's choose a grapefruit, I kind of like this picture, and we insert it. And now it will change the thumbnail on the background of my picture. If I want to add a new section, I come over to the left hand side and choose the plus button. When I select the plus button, I'm given a series of format options to add pieces into my news update. So I want to add the two column section so that it's the same format as the part above it. To delete, simply select the section and choose the trash can. So basic editing is pretty simple, but what happens when I want to add something that with a little bit more flair? I can choose a template that's pre-made, such as a picture with some words to the side. When I select the image, now I can go back to stock images or upload my own picture. I can even pull from a link on the web or upload my own picture. I'm going to choose stock images and search computers. You can see that a lot of pictures are generated and these are all Creative Commons licensed. So now I can choose the picture I want and insert. My tabs are created off to the right where I can text any information that I would like. This will be an update for my parents. The students are learning how to program robots in ELA. I have more boxes for text below and I can choose different styles such as headings. I can also choose different colors or alignments. To add more, I simply choose the icon below my text. And now I'm given a lot of options, such as pulling a link from the web. I can add stream videos. I can embed YouTube videos. 
I can even add a call to action if I have something that I want parents or students to respond to. I can add images or even tag people. To choose people, now I simply start typing their name or their email address and select them. Now they're tagged in my article and I can add a profile about them. Pretty much every option of my template is editable, so when I hover over something, I can change it or add text. I can save it as a draft to come back to it later. And when I'm done, I simply post my news. Now this goes to my website and it's listed for my students or for my parents, and I can share it out from there. I even have an immersive reader feature that is built right in. I can send it to just a few people through email. And I have tabs at the top to help me organize. So if I wanted to add documents into my page, I can add more pages to my newsletter, or I can even navigate my site contents. To add more things to my site, I can add new and add lists, pages, uh, subsites, apps, or document libraries to help keep myself organized. And if I want to change anything about my entire site, I can go over to site settings. There's a lot of features that are built right into this program here, so it'll take you a while to get used to everything.